Okay, so the drone is off and it is flying and doing its um, waypoint task. It's recording the point of interest right now. Okay, and now it is flying at its uh, third waypoint. And it's going to stop and take a photo. So there we go, it took its photo. Now it's going to fly to the next one. Controller starts to start beep and uh, let you know that it's returning home. Right when it right when it gets above me, that's when I like to take control. So in order to take control and land it to your, yourself, you want to press Landing. the X button. You want to press the X button to the left. Stop landing. And then it stops, and then you can control it yourself. There we have it. There is um, the tutorial on the waypoints. Um, there are a couple more things I'm going to go over real quick. First, I want to show you what the photos look like. Um, so, the, to access your photos, you want to tap the, it looks like video icon, um, to the far right bottom of the screen. You tap that, and here are the photos from the drone. There's the last one, waypoint four. There is the third one. And here's the video from waypoint one to waypoint two. Okay, there is one thing I have to uh, let you know of. When you set a wave, uh, point of interest and you set the gimbal pitch, um, the gimbal pitch, for some reason, um, will not um, auto-correct itself to the point of interest. You have to do it yourself, um, and it's not supported. So, in order to make a point of interest, um, by yourself all manual you do a custom route so I'm gonna show you that real quick okay so I uh, got rid of the point of interest and I'm gonna tap the first waypoint and you go to the please select a flight um, direction so with the custom route you get to choose where the camera is gonna look at and by doing this, it's going to give you a degree at which you're going to move your um, drone um, fall as, as well as the camera. So I have it set to 123 degrees, which is where I'm currently at compared to where the first waypoint is going to be. Uh, to set the second one, you tap on that. Uh, you go to the same thing. And it's set to... 249 so you just swipe down to go lower so it can more it can aim at me a little bit more and then you can also adjust the gimbal pitch now when you adjust the gimbal pitch um, through here um, it might be different from when it actually starts doing the flight I believe you can change it too while you're in flight um, I have to see of that but uh, in order for to look at us, it'll be at around 30 degree angle. Okay, so I'm going to have it uh, fly the same route. Um, at this point, the the camera should look more at uh, me, and the gimbal the and the gimbal pitch will be more down. So press the go button to the left, and there's a task check. So make sure everything is correct, and then press start and then slide for takeoff. And here's the live view from what I see um, on my phone. It flies up straight and then it goes to the first waypoint. 
I also changed the height so it's 100 feet instead of 80 feet. So it's going to be level the whole entire time while it's filming. So there we go. The first thing that we noticed is that the gimbal pitch is at 30. And that's how you do a custom route. Uh, that's how you adjust the um, direction at which the camera is going to look at. And there we go, it just stopped recording. And then it's going to fly to the next one. As you can see, it's raising the camera pitch all by itself because the next one does not have a set camera pitch. So it's gonna raise it um, and then it's gonna take a photo and then it's gonna go back to the other one and take a photo. And if we look back on the map, This is what it looks like. There's the little drone right there going to waypoint four. And it's about to take a picture there. So go here. Go home. And take some photo. So like I said before, it wants to fly by itself. Just press the X button if you don't want it to do it. Landing.